السلام علیکم گائز دس از می شہریار مبارک آن مائی چینل حسن علی ود انادر ایپیسوڈ اف مائی ٹیک ویل یو ایس اے یو کے اینڈ ای یو اسٹیٹس اور ای یو کنٹریز آر دے آر دا مین انیبلرز اینڈ دا مین کمپلیسنٹ اف دس اسرائیلی جینوسائڈ اف غزہ آر دے آر the behind the curtain who is who is supporting israel who are arming israel who are providing diplomatic moral support political support till the extent that they do not care what happens in their countries that people in their respective countries are protesting the largest protest that have happened around the world uh, in the one of the places was the united kingdom the great britain which witness hundred thousands of people and in in one of a case a million people came out on street against this israeli genocide of gaza against this israeli atrocities against this israeli war of on the people on the children of gaza but rishi sunak didn't you know move from this stance or didn't uh, for a second blink the eye that he is going to say that israel need to stop he didn't use any harsh language or any sort of uh, signals sent to its uh, kind uh, to its uh, people that we are not supporting israel but uh, reciprocally if, if if we look that if 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 we look at the other side they kept on supporting israel they kept on we doing the uh, unsc Uh, security council's uh, ceasefire resolution which were brought by different countries on different three occasions which were either opposed by united kingdom and usa it speaks volume of that that united states of america united kingdom and eu state as a whole they frankly didn't care how many people die in gaza because if we look that united states president when he cancelled or he was wanting to have a annual iftar dinner that white house uh, used to host from years now it got cancelled because they knew that many of the muslim community leaders from uh, different backgrounds from arabs from uh, asians or the muslim leaders of the muslim community in living in america they were not willing to participate or attend that dinner so he as a clever politician arrange a working dinner with the muslim community leaders with the uh, people from the different professions from the different backgrounds to meet uh, Pref- uh, president joe biden last week which were uh, scheduled to happen the um, uh, the palestinian american doctor dr tahir ahmed who uh, is a part of med global who is who volunteered himself in gaza for a month he worked at al nasser hospital he is uh, uh, he is a trauma physician uh, uh, a capable doctor in chicago he was invited and he was one of those participant or the community leaders from the muslim communities who um, uh, were to attend that working dinner that took place instead of the iftar dinner that annual iftar dinner which was which was hosted by the uh, white house from year from many years now but due to lack of participation and due to lack of uh, the availability or lack of uh, attendance of the muslim muslims of america they cancelled it because if it was planned a uh, iftar dinner and people didn't came it would have been a biggest embarrassment because biden's uh, democratic party's own muslim leaders were not willing to attend that dinner so how can the community leaders from arab community from the uh, asian community or uh, muslim asian community and from the muslims in general in america they were not willing so dr tahir ahmed was one of those people who attended that working dinner and he said that they were briefed that you were going to the first person who have uh, you were you were going to be the first person who were on the ground since 7th of october 2023 in gaza and he is going to explain the real situation on the ground because the president of america mr joe biden who went to tel aviv who went to the extent that he said that i am a zionist and you do not need to be jew you do not need to be uh jew to be a zionist he didn't 
met anyone from the Palestinian side who can tell about the suffering, about the plight, about the miseries, about the problems, about the hardships that the Palestinians of Gaza are facing since 7th of October 2023. St from uh, from uh, the uh, minute uh, Israel's bombardment on Gaza, from the invasion, from the ground invasion, from the starvation, from blocking of the gates, he didn't meet anyone who were in Gaza on the ground and we're seeing these hardships, we're seeing these difficulties, we're seeing this uh, plight of the people of Palestine with the eyes he didn't met. And when he, there, he, when he, he went there, he said that prior that week before the dinner, there were a lot of things happening which made us that he, he said he didn't even want to attend, but he goes there and he tells that if you don't know what is happening in Gaza. He, and he spoke for the people of Gaza. He told the situation on the ground. He expressed his face. But he found it a bit surprising that the president of America didn't meet anyone and didn't understand what is happening in Gaza with the people of Palestine. And when it was in the uh, Washington uh, White House spokesperson, John, John, John Pierre, uh, uh, Jen Pierre, a black woman, I've, I'm not forgetting her name, the spokesperson, when she was repeatedly asked by two journalists that President of America, the Porters, United States, Joe Biden, the genocidal Joe, shall I say, he, were met, he met with the Muslim community's leader from the different backgrounds, met the people who were on the ground for the first time, it's it true that he met someone for the first time since 7th of October 2023 who have been to the Gaza, who have seen the hardship and difficulties and the plight and the problems of Palestinian people with the with, with his own bare eyes. She refused to answer because it was strong. It, it was it was at most embarrassment for the president of America who didn't met anyone who were on the ground and who knew what was happening in Gaza. So Dr. Tahir Ahmed said he handed over a eight-year-old orphan girl's letter that if Rafa attack, please stop Israel from invading Rafa, attacking Rafa. So he said that it is if 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 if, if you look at the interview that he has given to the democracy now, it was clear that Joe Biden was not aware, and he said that I told Mr. Joe Biden that anyone from your administration or anybody who is saying that that we will get out the people of Gaza, uh, people from Rafa and let Israel invade, it's going to be the tremendous, it will, will going to be the hundreds, uh, biggest mistake, will be a criminal mistake because Palestinians are not cheap, they can't be held here and there. There shall be no attack on Rafa. America shall put a red line on the invasion of Rafa. But as we all know that USA or UK or whether it's EU states, they do not have the ability, I have to say now, to stop Israel. Or they undermine themselves. They didn't stop Israel because they are enablers. They are supporters. They are the staunch supporters of Israel. Because when you do not condemn the killing of aid workers, before this uh, World Central Kitchen's aid workers, six aid workers got killed uh, yesterday, yesterday, the two two days back. There were 190 people, aid worker people, including UN, Palestine International Movement, and many other org organizations. Aid workers were killed by Israel. 100 plus journalists were killed by Israel. 100 plus medics, doctors, nurses were killed by Israel. Al Shifa, Al Nasser, Kamal Khudlu Hospital, Aqsa Hospitals, many hospitals have been destroyed either completely or they have been destroyed till the extent that they couldn't now operate or they couldn't entertain or they couldn't uh, help many people because they do not have either infrastructure or the facilities. So the EU and the uh, uh, United States of America, United Kingdom and the EU states, they are enablers. They do not care what their people think, how, what their people are protesting on the roads, what, they pro, what their people are saying, what their people are wanting. People in United Kingdom, USA, and even in EU states, more than 60% of people are saying what is Israel is what Israel is doing with the people of Palestine is wrong, and our government shall shall uh, shall ask for the ceasefire immediately. But none of these governments, 
are asking for the ceasefire they are equal equally complacent enough and in the words of basim yusuf israel has morally corrupted west and it will take time to go in remission to remove this cancer from their body that they have attached with themselves because morally western countries are corrupted that they do not speak on the death of innocent 14000 innocent children around 8000 innocent women and around 33000 people who have been killed by state of israel they are not asking or asking israel to stop because they are morally so corrupt that they think if israel is doing this it they are doing right and they are thinking two wrongs make right it is the situation in the western leadership's mind and in the western capitals long live palestine allah hafiz